Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Resonance Arcade. Uh, tonight we're playing XCOM Enemy Unknown. We've got Steve and me, and uh, we're playing the multiplayer. We haven't played it before again. I think we had a, we had a quick go last night just to make sure it worked yeah. and everything everything was all, and it actually was a multiplayer game and what kind of game it was. But yeah, generally we don't really know what we're doing, so we're trying to work it out at the moment. Um, Lou would probably play with us if uh, if he was around, but I think he's still still on his jollies. Uh, this still is gallivanting about in London. Yeah, yeah, and this is pre-recorded, by the way, so um, you'll be watching this. And if we don't respond, sorry, we're not being ignorant. We're just not there or something. Right, so um, what are we trying to work out here? We're trying to. You've got to create yourself a squad. So each one of these boxes is a is a potential is a squad member. Yeah, so I'll clear them chrysalids that I added yesterday. <laughs> so it looks like chrysalids, it's... although very frightening, are pretty uh, easy to kill. Yeah. Yeah, but they've got quite a lot of movement range. So we've got unlimited points here. Unlimited haven't we? points for this round, at least anyway, until we can kind of get a feel for what the game's like. Okay. So I have to choose. We notice that there's only one type of soldier, but there's a million types of. I know, but when you go to the soldier, you can select different classes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying that. I suppose yeah, there must there must be classes the other one. So if I selected a sectoid, yeah, it's just a sectoid, isn't it? Mm. Ah, so the yeah, the soldier's got lots of more configurable options. Although you do get sectoid commanders and like their berserkers and things like that in the game. Yeah. But they're different. Again, they're not different classes of the sectoid either. They're, by the looks of it, it's all separate. A bit weird having a mix of both human and alien. Yeah, I'm not sure we should do that. <laughs> Try and keep it authentic. One of us be yeah. aliens, one of us be... Oh, oh, well, I've, well, it's just a free-for-all really, isn't it? Shall I, try, I tell you what, I'll try being aliens, I'll just choose alien race yeah. people and see how that goes. Yeah, uh, fair enough, and I'll uh, I'll get out a human squad. Right then, so... Fuck sectoids. Are, we, are you sure we got infinite points? Because it says I've only got 3,000. You sure it's not the points that you've used? Oh, you might be right. So I've used 62,550 points on my squad. Uh, actually, you know what? It's quite a bit easier to customise the aliens because you just select them, don't you? <laughs> yeah. I mean, luckily I've been uh, setting this up in the background while you've been introducing the show and have you? So I've already got oh, my squad. Yeah. <clears throat> Look at you. Right, so... See, as I can't really talk you through what I'm doing because Steel don't know what my squad is. <laughs> well, I can. You can see and dissipate the bathroom for five minutes if you want. Well, no, I'm just saying I, I don't actually know what I'm doing, so it doesn't make oh. much difference anyway. But nip to the bathroom if you need to, because we're going to be here a while, I think. No, I'm okay. I just thought if you wanted some private time with the audience. <laughs> uh, I can't remember which are the better ones: the mutton elites or mutton berserkers. Uh. The Berserkers are good, but they're only good at uh, uh, melee combat. Yeah, yeah. So you kind of got to get them raged up, then run them right at the other people, which exposes them. Hmm. Do you call them mutton as well? Mutton. Is it muton? <laughs> muton. <laughs> <laughs> Lou would be absolutely two. steaming <laughs> if you were saying mutton in front of him. Yeah, there's not, there should be two T's in it, surely, shouldn't there? <laughs> the mutton right. mat. I think I've probably just chosen a ridiculously. I, I've yeah, I've chosen probably a, a really rubbish squad. But hey, bugger it. Let's go for it. <clears throat> I've chosen the bar level because one, it's the first one on the list, and two, there should be nice. There's rooms and a little building so we can hide and do. Oh, I think I remember this one actually. Yeah. yeah, there's a little square bit in the middle of it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Let's go. Yeah, so I mean, both me and Steve have played through this uh, a fair amount. I've played through it twice, uh, once with Enemy Unknown, once with Enemy Within. I'm a bit of a, a what what do you call them? Save... Save Haw. Not Save Haw. Had Lou had a name for them in his, in his little elite crew. He probably called you a cheat. Save Scum. Save Scum. Save yeah. Scum, yes. 
So yeah, <laughs> this is um, like a turn-based game. Yeah. And it looks like Chris has got the first move because I'm just sadly not able to do anything at the moment. Ah, right. So we don't move sim simultaneously or anything like that. There's only six units to move, so it's not going to be like the saga we had with Civilization. No, no. It was like Although you are playing with me, turn. so. Yeah, but there's not as much. There's, there's not as many options as well. Um, I can't. I can't do Overwatch. With the. Uh, you move too far. Oh. No, no, I can't do Overwatch with some of these units. Hmm. I don't, I've never played with the uh, aliens, so I've got all of these different options that I've never seen before. Ooh. Nice. Probably... Yeah, probably should be spreading my troops out a little bit more than I actually am. But it normally takes a round or two before you encounter the enemy in the single player game, so I'm assuming you're right over the other side of the map. Yeah, maybe, I don't know. Don't know yet. I'm not seeing any um, markers. To oh, hang on, it's because I was on a melee unit. Yeah, don't, you obviously melee units or the, the berserker can't actually hide behind cover. Whereas um, all the other ones can. Well, actually, all, most of my units can't hide behind cover. Brilliant. Excellent. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> it might give you a bit of a tactical disadvantage, though. Yeah. Properly. But, well, that's why, again, I, pl I chose the aliens, because I wanted to see how, the, how it fares, but I think uh, it might have been a bad idea now. So, as you move your units, I assume I'll be able to see them if they appear. On my uh, fog of war. I don't think it's that big, actually. This map is it really? No, it looks quite small. Not actually sure how interesting this game is going to be for people to watch. Yeah, it's a bit of an unknown at the minute. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, if it if it doesn't if it works out, we're not really saying much because <laughs> we concentrate too much on the game. I, I think I I don't think it's that. I think I'd love to talk people through what I'm doing, but because uh, I'm playing competitively against you, it's like I'm telling you all my thoughts, and it's not really competitive. Then is it? It's kind of a. It's not again. Not that winning actually matters. It's the it's the point that if you play <coughs> a game, you might you know that has a winning element. You might as well. <laughs> Try to win, you know. I mean, I suppose we could uh, we could give bits away. I mean, the, like the minute I'm, I'm trying to decide because I've got several options on the direction that I take with my squad. Yeah, um, I suppose we could we could speak people through our thought process. Yeah. And I'm kind of thinking that the best thing to do is probably to split them all up. You get six units per team. So I'm thinking if I split them up send them in a one, two or th maybe even three smaller squads but still within range of each other so I can come and help yeah you see if I'd have told you what I was doing last last turn then you would have made a different decision to what you've just done so it, it, I, I'm not sure but, but the other thing as well is we could talk to our tactics but then we could all also be lying we could <laughs> So okay, but, fuck it. It doesn't matter. It's only a game, as I said before. It so, is only a game. Yeah. I'm I'm actually keeping all of my squad together. So I've got all six of my guys. Normally, I spl I split. If I've got the if I'm playing the single player game, I'll split everyone up and I'll yeah. put them into like fire teams of a sniper and an assault guy and a, a medic that's like sat in the middle team so you can help everyone out. But mm. with this, I don't have a medic. I've got some really crazy classes that I haven't really used before, so I don't really know how to play them. Um, once I once Steve sees me, then he'll see what I've got, and he'll probably understand why I'm why I've decided to keep them all together. It's a bit of a, a bit of a daft uh, setup, I'll be honest with you. Ooh, I've I've seen one of you. I've seen you mute on Berserker, and I've no! took a reaction shot. Yep, I can see it, and you missed. Um,
Oh, both I hit you up, no? Bastard. Six per side. That's going to take me at least another two hits to kill you. Yeah, and I'm... Yeah, not in a great position to, to help that guy out. Hmm. Let's see how this this tactic works out. Ah, okay, that's a local attack. I can't use it. There's a one called Death Blossom, and I think it's I think it might be the explosion that they do at the end. Oh, right. kill them for cyber, you know, cyber discs. Yeah, yeah. Uh, can I? Oh, you got a cyber disc as well. I've got a number of cyber discs. <laughs> Um, <coughs> cyber discs are the worst thing in the world. Well, they are if they've got drones helping them, but I haven't got any bloody drones helping them. So they've still got a hell of an attack, though, and they've got a like a practically instant kill uh, melee attack. Well, they haven't a single play game anyway. Yeah, I can't believe that I've, I've got. I can't believe I can't. There's some of these units that doesn't make any sense why I can't um, hide behind things with them. <laughs> Just because he's floating. Uh, well, you got an ethereal. I have. I call them ethereals. Ethereal, ethereal. I don't know. Ethereal, ethereal. Yeah, I suppose you could do either. Have you give your squad names, by the way? Uh, they're just called whatever the randomly generated name was, like Michelle and James and Rupert. Okay. Some reason I can't swap. I can't do anything. It just what says it just says your turn and my ethereal selected, but I can't do anything with it. Um, that's rubbish. I haven't moved some of my guys, and I have to end my turn. Shite. Are they doing something that takes two turns to do? I can't. There's nothing he can do. There's literally none of the buttons work apart from end turn. I'm going to have to end my turn, unfortunately. you just got a massive advantage there, because I've still got all my other guys <laughs> stuck behind a... stuck behind the building. It's annoying. You bastard! See ya. I think in this game anyway, I think by the time you get to the end of the single player game your guys have <sighs> Sorry man I wouldn't mind if I had my, my other guys there to back up I could have took a sh few shots at you guys and hopefully taken one or two out but They're Proper annoying Do you use tab to switch between you guys? Uh yeah. Just what I was doing when it when it broke. Not on this. Not on at all. I think you have been at a bit of a tactical disadvantage here. Yeah. I said I think I said in the single player. By the time you get to the end, your guys have such an advantage because of their all the yeah. gear and everything that they've got. Maybe the next round we'll play human v human or alien v alien because yeah. that'll be a bit balanced. Well, I said I think I would have done all right if these if, I, if all my other guys <coughs> weren't over the other side. Hmm. So the people watching there, I've actually just used mind control on uh, one of Chris's uh, mute on men, mute on commander. By the looks of it, 
So he is under my control now until either he gets killed or someone kills the unit of mine that has him under my control. I do think that uh, if you have a unit that's got strong mind control itself, though, you can break that bond. Yeah. Well, so your ethereal or etheral should be able to retake mind control over that unit, I think. Does bonus damage if a target fails a will test? No, that's not what I wanted. I have mind for it. Oh, that just... I don't know, it might work, I'm not sure. Tell you what, I'm going to do what I thought I was, what I was going to do in the first place. <coughs> Hmm. That wasn't very nice. No, but it still didn't take much off you though, did it? Rubbish. Seven off each character. And there's some kind of spinning vortex near me now, I think I might have to move out of that. You do. This is absolutely crap. Why can't I why can't I hide there? <clears throat> Did you find the, the the main game slightly buggy as well? There was a couple of but I've I have played it on the Xbox and on the uh the PC now and I found the uh the Xbox version to be a lot more buggy than the uh the PC version, but I'm assuming that the PC version's had lots of updates. Yeah, I know, I think it has um, I think Enemy Within again fixes a few of the other bugs. Uh I can't remember off the top of my head, but yeah, there was there was a few that I had issues with. Yeah, right, you've you've proper owned me here. Oh, my snipers aren't much use where they are. I bet it's it's going to be a bit weird playing a human opponent because I imagine humans are going to be in infinitely better than any AI. Because there's, there's some things that the AI won't do. Yeah. Only a few things. Like it's, I think it's it's pretty good in the game. It, it is pretty difficult, but you kind of you, you get the point where you can second guess the tactics. Yeah, to a point. Anyway, I mean, there's also the random, you know, mercy of the random number generator all the time. Yeah. Because sometimes you can have like ninety nine percent accuracy and uh, like eighty percent critical and. And miss entirely. It's stupid. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. What was that? I just cast a telekinetic field by accident. Alright. That would be a moment that I would save scum. I'd load back if I'd made a mistake like that. Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh, what the fuck? How did that happen? Oh, you walked through the rift. That injured me, but I thought I set up my character outside of it, but it must have just been on the rim because it knocked her by another nine points, sir. I was thinking about mine shields as well, but it uses up one of your inventory slots, and I thought that grenades would have been more useful. Hmm.
Ah, you don't. Rubbish, that's what I'm doing. Cyberdisc's just flowing in the middle of the car park. They do look cool, Cyberdisc, so I don't know. Yeah. Shot. Oh, what? <laughs> Fucked. Shot through two car windows and a wall. Yeah. Atrocious. I have a feeling this car's going to explode and kill my sniper. Shit, that was the worst one I could pro probably use. Panic on. Idiot. That was a waste. <laughs> Alright. Still got my dude. Yeah. I think actually I would have stood a, a decent chance if if uh, if I hadn't had that bug at the beginning. Oh. <laughs> right. Uh, you. What the hell was that? Reflection. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got so any that's... medics. I can't. I've got nothing to help my dudes with. Did you miss me? I was blown away your cover. That's fine. Oh. Bollocks. There's no need for 15 though, was there? You had two health. <laughs> <coughs> Where's your animal? game <coughs> yeah have I just got one guy left oh no you could control my other guy as well I can't use heal wound on yourself? On, uh, on, yeah, on my ethereal. That's rubbish. <coughs> the my control aspect adds, adds quite a good dynamic to the game, I think. Because it can really turn the tables, because not only are you losing one character, but I'm gaining one. Yeah. So it can really swing the balance of power. Oh, bollocks! Why do you try and mind frame me? I'll oh, try know. and free your the character. Yeah. <coughs> so not passing this one either. Because you've all got Psy characters, I just don't think anything's passing. I bet they've got really high willpower. Snipe from point blank range. Game over. Oh, I missed. 
I'll take the sniper misses from that range. Well, if you that's the point with sniper rifles. The accuracy goes down as the closer you get in this game. This one won't miss. No, and that's it. Game over. Utterly rubbish. <laughs> Oh, is that right, it? So you, don't, you don't stay in it. No, no. Rubbish. So, now we've had a bit of a, a play about. Yeah, what do you reckon? Do you reckon we should stop or... I'm, I'm happy to keep playing. You don't have to stay, can, keep the stream going. Well, we can just play another game if you want, unless you want to uh, keep the stream on. Uh, what, instead? Hang on. Yeah, I'm I've, I've just sent you an invite again anyway. Right, okay. <laughs> so do you want to play human v human? Yeah, go on. Right, well, so I might keep the same squad as last time then. Might take me a little bit to get up to date. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go for that piss now anyway, so you can configure your squad. Alright. Alright, so I'll have to choose my soldiers and choose a different type, so I want a sniper. These must be the different class class types. There we go, class types. I see, so you can choose whatever you want. Can't remember what's the best. Archangel's pretty good, isn't it? I'll go for Psy Armour. Now... I'll do for that first one. And I definitely want an Assault. And I prefer... There you go, Alloy Cannon, Mint. This guy can have the, the best... Is it Titan or Archangel? I think Ghost Armor might be as good as the others, I can't remember. Shame you can't see, like, the specs on them. So we go for a med kit there with that one. Uh, I like my snipers, so I'm going to have another sniper. Yeah, again, there's no point in really having the any better than the any worse than the better best ones. So we go for that. See, I think I want to change this actually. To a mind shield, because then I can reflect all his attacks. Uh, we'll have a heavy. Just basically choose everything. Next. Yo. Yo. Just been telling everyone how I'm going to own you this time. Is that right? Yeah. <coughs> I'm continuing with the same theme and my setups. I've got two guys to do yet. So you guys are doing you spent almost forty thousand points. Me? Yeah. Is that more than you? No, I've spent sixty two. It'd be cool if you could import your, your single player characters into the game. Yeah. It'd save a lot of faffing, wouldn't it? Mm. If you configured all the armor and everything. Yeah. Well, yeah, nearly, nearly finished it. Uh... This is the second map in the list. This is the Grand Cemetery. I thought we were going to be playing on. Okie dokie. It's not right. 
right, that's not what I wanted. I wanted that one. There we go. It's expensive, some of these weapons, if we had points to waste. <coughs> yeah, I mean, when we played yesterday, I could only actually afford two characters. Yeah, same, yeah. Well, no, I, I just chose the basics of... Of, like... Mm. Yeah. Solids. I'll go for that again. Don't know if this is a good setup, but bugger it, that'll do. Alright. <coughs> I need a Wii now. <laughs> I tell you what, we'll do this game. We'll we'll stop the stream, and then yep. we'll uh, we'll go from there. Cool. Yeah, go first again. This map's a little bit larger than the last one as well. Actually, know what I'm doing with these guys a little bit more. It shouldn't take me as long to Feels do it. Feels more comfortable with the humans, isn't it? Yeah. I can hear footsteps. This was one of them games when it was released. I was really hoping they hadn't ruined it because the original is just fantastic. Yeah, I mean, I, I wasn't. I know you and Lou played the original quite a lot, but I haven't played it that much. I played it. I definitely have played it. I remember. I remember how it goes, but yeah, it's. Um, I I really like this. I know Lou's not as keen on this as uh, as maybe I am. I still really like it. I think it's a very good game. I think, you know, fix the one or two annoying bugs with the interface and I think it'd be I think it'd be very, very replayable, you know. I say that, I've sort of played it through twice and now playing multiplayer. Kind of presupposing that you're going to be doing certain things here with my tactics. Yeah, same here. Well, at the moment, I'm just treating you like uh, like, like the alien AI, so because I haven't really seen your tactics and how you work. But yeah, I think at least with humans, it should be a bit of a quicker, bit of a quicker match. <coughs> How you say? Because you're familiar with all the uh, all the abilities that they've all got. Yeah. One thing you could do in the original that you can't do in this is uh, you could actually crouch your characters, which give you a bit of a defensive bonus. Yeah. So if you were out in the open and you had no choice, you couldn't get behind cover, then you could always just crouch down and hope for the best. <clears throat> but I hope you're ready to feel the pain. Is that how it's going to be, eh? Oh, yes. To be fair, I've chosen the wrong armour for some of them. I wish you could see the stats of the armour like you can in the single player when you're choosing them. Yeah, it just gives you the price, doesn't it? Seen that way, see that way too often in uh, multiplayer games. It's like a major cut-down version of the single player. It's like assuming that you're an expert in the single player. Mm. Which we're, you know, blatantly we're not. <laughs> I suppose it's easy to find out, but then I mean, like Google and the armor, and it just detracts from playing the game. I can hear footsteps. <coughs> right.
mighty dorky. What do I do with you, mister? What do I do with you? Right. I know exactly what you're doing. What am I doing? You're just overwatching constantly, aren't you? I'm not. I'm moving. No. Okay, there's another tactic that I think you may be, may be partaking in. And what's that? Potential flankage. You didn't consider my lightning reflexes there. I did. Ooh, you've run really far ahead. Fuck off, missing. Idiot. Look at you, eh? Let me in. Let me look, then. <laughs> I can't get in the building for some reason. The, the roof's still on. <coughs> Little alien sound effects as well. Yeah, whenever you see... <laughs> the thin man. Fancy. You and your red smoke. <laughs> Red's my favourite colour in this game. <clears throat> I was just in that weird thing where I can't select any other characters now. Yeah. Can only end game it. Oh, that's a bit of an annoying bug. Totally. Especially when you've got something in mind as well. <clears throat> Which you always do in this game. <laughs> this is the intention, isn't it? Won't even let me end turn. No. Oh, will it not? End turn. Are you sure you want to end your turn? Confirm. It doesn't do anything. It says opponent's turn. It says opponent's turn on my screen as well. One sec. Get out of it. So that's it. Won't even let me escape. Well, we're now seeing both sides of this bug. <laughs> that's a bit annoying. So we can't do anything at all then. Uh, doesn't look like it. Can't move my camera unless I hover over an active unit, and it just lets me scroll to it. Won't let me end my turn. You click the little X in the bottom left, yeah? Yep. Alright, well, that's it then. 
thanks everyone for watching. <laughs> <laughs> Probably won't even put this on live, to be fair. <laughs> oh, fuck it, that's it. That's a bit shit. Yeah. Uh, I had a. Uh, I. Two snipers on top of mausoleums looking down over with a full field of view getting ready to shoot. Mm -hmm. And he had uh, I, I was kind of trying to cusp the mausoleum in the centre. I could hear your uh, I could hear your overwatches kicking off yeah. while you were doing it. <coughs> yeah, I just had I just had a, a full spread of, of people all around and I had all my major firepower in the middle waiting for mm. waiting for you to charge me, but I had a feeling you were doing something sneaky in the background. <laughs> I was thinking if, if I can get the two snipers just on the side and looking out and I've got everything covered apart from the mausoleum and behind it. Yep. Right then, so I'll stop the stream here and uh, yep. yeah, so thanks everyone for watching. We'll see you later. Bye bye.